You okay over there? <laughs> the struggles. The struggles. You almost ready over there? Almost. I'll be ready. Bro left. It's a birthday gift right there, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Actually, pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, part two. That's four. Part two. <laughs> part two, guys. Part two. <laughs> Uh, we're back, so we're gonna finish up all the upgrades we wanted to put on Lucy, which is front bumper, rear bumper, wench, aftermarket assassin's helix. We got an L and W Fab front bumper and a Brick City Fab rear bumper. So the L and W Fab front bumper is actually gonna be the mount for the wench and everything. I didn't want to do over the diff. I've heard nothing but horror stories, and if anything goes wrong with it, I can take it in and out super easy. Let's look at the bumpers real quick. Right there's the rear one. Boom. It is powder coated to match exactly to my cage, which is awesome because it's the same company that I got my cage from. Yep. It. I like the design. It's gonna. Uh, I still be able to see all my lights and everything. Really cool. And then the L and W fab. I just had to kind of wing it and guess the powder coat for them. It's close, but the shimmer. It's a little bit brighter. Yeah. Still cool. It's still really cool though. There it is. You can tell when you compare them. This one's just a bit shinier. I'm sure it won't be shiny for long. No, get a little mud on it. But uh, really clean look. You will still be able to see the fangs and everything. You can see where the wench is gonna be hit up in there. Lower sporty front bumper, I dig it. Super ATV, 6,000 pound black ops wench. Yep. It is over there hiding. Let's check it out. And this is the BA wench that's gonna go onto that L and W fab uh bumper man she's heavy yeah it's it, way heavier than the bumper <laughs> it is I, I, when i grabbed it earlier i was actually pretty surprised on it and i want to uh, again give another shout out to bob cyclone repair in houston ohio where i got my razor turbo s from because he helped us get this he donated it for the lucy build thank you guys so much if Thanks you want a very affordable side by side Go to Bob's in Ohio. I traveled all the way from here, northern Michigan, to go there and buy my car because it was the best price. Yeah. I paid $26.5 out the door for my yep. brand new 21 Turbo S. Definitely go check out Bob's. Yep. Good people. If, we'll be getting machines there in the future. If you could save $5,000 on just taking a one-day trip. Yeah. That's a no-brainer. It was eight hours all together. Yep. There and back. So. No-brainer. Definitely worth <laughs> saving thousands of dollars. Yes. Thank you, Bob, for hooking us up. I'm excited. We've had needed a wench multiple times, and uh, finally one of us will be able to save the other person. <laughs> yep. I won't be saving myself. I'll be saving people. Yeah. I'm, Lucy I'm does like a firefighter. <laughs> Lucy does a rescue, dude. <laughs> it's going to be pretty easy mount up, I think. We got Lucy tore apart a little bit in the front already. Remove the grill, the plastic piece down here. Uh, right here's your wench plates. These come with your L and W Fab bumper. It, Super ATV gives you one, but that's for over the diff. This is for your bumper mount. And it seems pretty simple. Yeah, you can see right here those holes. This is gonna line up right to it. That'll be right there, and then you slip this bad boy, and this bumper is gonna be slipped right over here. I remember in the first part one episode, I said I won't need to cut my grill. I was wrong. I was wrong. Yep. So I have my stock grill I'm gonna be using until I fab up the uh, salt, uh, assault grill, yeah. So you can see here on this bumper, these tabs are gonna go through the grill. I gotta fab out like this much. And we got one other thing. Ooh. Say you wanna do some clutch work, how we're gonna do this helix later. SLR, clutch compressor. I'm gonna rephrase it, it's actually SLP. Oh, is it? Yeah, yep. SLP. SLP, starting starting line products incorporated. Oh, my bad. They didn't give it to me, so. <laughs> uh, SLP, yeah, this will make doing your clutch work super easy. Your clutch, all that goes down, so then you can just press this press down. Press it down, compress it, and then latch this paint over it. You'll see it later in the episode, because we're yeah. gonna use it. And you can work on your clutches safely. And if you're tightening your primary, I got a primary clutch holder too. Yeah, that's gonna be really nice. So we've already somewhat prepped the front. She's ready to go. And uh, yep. here's a giant, what the hell is this? Uh, basically, I think what this is, is for the uh, wireless remote. Oh yeah. So this is gonna have like all the stuff for the wireless remote to pick, uh, remote to pick up. And it's really easy to hook up for the 
win uh, the winch itself. You can see right here, they even color coded everything with and the Super ATV winch. Put words on it. And put words on it. And not even <laughs> just that. I mean, as you can see, they have it color coded. They gave you all those same colors to that, to them. Yes. So, I mean, it's like color coded down, very mm -hmm. simple how to run your wiring here. And then uh, for the switch itself to the car, you just, it's all pre ran everything. It's, yeah. You, know, you just plug it in, screw it down. Where is it at? So right this there. literally, it's already, the plugs are in the switch. All you yeah. have to do is run it, man. Yeah, it is. So should be really, really simple and uh, and definitely going to help out. Mm -hmm. You know what's really going to help out on? When you come to the group ride. I'll winch you out, dude. The chief I'll is going to winch you out. So I'll make win. sure, make sure you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Twisted Trails, Cobush, Michigan, on August 21st. Be here. One thing, uh, I'm going to go get over... Get stuck, he's going to get you out. Yeah, I'm going to get you out. <laughs> $500 cash giveaway. That's nothing to do with the raffle. There's going to be a raffle of parts and gift cards, all sorts of things yep. being given away. But the $500 that I'm going to personally give somebody, there's a tiny mud pit in the very beginning of the park. Whoever puts on the best like minute show, I'm going to give 500 bucks to. Yep. It doesn't matter if you're on a quad, dirt bike, truck, piece of crap, car, side by side. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You make us laugh. You give us some entertainment. We're like, woo! Yeah. You deserve it. You will be getting five hundred bucks cash personally from me. Hundred percent. <laughs> and then you're gonna get Beat pulled it. out. And then you're gonna get pulled. <laughs> I hope you don't get pulled out. Yeah, yeah. I hope you guys are just able to whip out of there. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. And uh, maybe you don't win the five hundred bucks. You could win some getaways for side by side vacations, aftermarket sets and gift card, classic motorsports. There's quite a few of them. I'm, yeah. I'm a little foggy right now. It's muggy in here. And... Yeah, but no, there is. There's, there's going to be multiple giveaways, lots yeah. of stuff. So be there. It's going to be awesome. Plus dirt merch. If and you want to buy some merchandise right from us, we'll have it there. Also, a special shirt for the Crash of Palooza group ride. So mm -hmm. every dollar spent on merch gives you one uh, raffle ticket. Each raffle ticket will be a dollar. Nice. Perfect. Worth it. Be there. Be there. It's gonna be fun. I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get to work. Yes, let's start doing this install. All right, so. All right, so we got the Super ATV wench mounted to the plate right now. Just four easy bolts, no problem. So you want to mount it to the plate before you get on the bumper or anything. You have no choice. That's like how it's supposed to be. And then you can see. <laughs> And then you can see here's the other bracket. There's holes already here on your frame. Bam, bam. You can see these two bolts, or these two holes line up with these two holes, pinches the plate on, and then this, uh, these two outer holes and the bottom one uh, hold the plate and the bumper on. Yeah, so right there, that's how it's gonna go. They give you uh, longer bolts for down here too, because you gotta go through the plate, through the bumper, and the stock bolts aren't long yeah. enough. Yeah, bam. And just like that, you can see two bolts right there holding it in place, and this is where your bumper is going to be mounted to. And it uh, looks like we should be able to get to these cables pretty easy. Whoa, they're pretty close to the plastic. They okay. are close to the plastic. I mean, once it's all mounted, it's not gonna move. I'm wondering. It definitely looks like it's gonna hit. I'm wondering if we should put our cables on right now. Yeah, that's probably not a bad and idea. And run them right up through here instead of trying to fight through the. Bumper. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's do that. So let's install our cables and get our cables nice looking. Coming up right here, we'll get them zip tied, and uh, then we'll finish putting the rest of the hardware on. Yeah, we're here for trial and error, exactly. not just how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got our wires mounted up now. Ran through that hole, do 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 do, sneaking right up to the top. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That looks sick. Lucy has a, like a flat smile now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is quite the angle. That is quite the angle. It'll cinch together. <laughs> it'll pull together and be nice and tight. It'll, it'll work. All right. Oh my gosh, man. The saga continues. Have some of the worst luck, I feel, man. 100%, man. I'm just, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling so bad right now. S&B harness was, like, defaulty. Oh, man. What else, man? I, I can't even, cage was messed up. Razorback's yeah. been messed up. 
The Razorback a, gauge though wasn't our fault. Wasn't or it our, wasn't their fault. That was our fault. Yeah, that was more our fault. But but there has been a few items on this build that have not worked because of manufacturers. I don't know if it's because of the vid or what. But this bumper does not fit, man. Is it the uh, when you try to suck it in, it presses right on the negative Here, side. You hold that. Yep. I can't see. It's, it's pressing right in on the negative side of the winch cable. Ah, oh, well, alright, so the next move is to, unfortunately, take the bumper off. I say we leave it for now. Leave it for now? Leave it for now. I'll talk to them tomorrow. We'll assess what they want to do. To be continued. To be continued. To be continued. Rear bumper and helix? I was just going to say, let's put the helix and the rear bumper on. Alright, we'll do that. Okay, let's, let's try it out. Let's do something that we know will work. Let's yes. put on that rear bumper because yes. it'll take seconds. Yeah, let's get the rear bumper on. All let's right. get this thing bumpered up a little bit. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> I did editing live action style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right. let's Pretty get the bumper. Fab rear bumper. Let's put it on. We know this one will fit. Maybe. <laughs> hey, so there's four mounting points on this bumper. Hardware comes for the rear, or for the bottom of it. For the top, it's already on your car. So the hardware they give you will be going through this hole in the bottom, and for the top, it actually mounts right there, tip of my finger, bam, hardware is already in there. Mm. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> Let's hope. I'm gonna make it up if I wanted to. <laughs> no, no, you really can't, you can't write this stuff. <laughs> It doesn't work. Nope, the rear bumper doesn't fit either. Uh, <laughs> Everyone probably thinks we just aren't doing it right, but. Yeah, yeah I'm starting, I, I was just telling myself, I'm like, mm, am I doing it right? Am I doing, what is happening It's a here? bumper, it's four bolts. It's yeah. just, the bumper isn't fabbed right. I don't know if the 21 Turbo S is different than the other ones, but right here in the rear, here, we can get that light. Yeah, that's actually what I'm looking for. Oh, right here, yeah, you'll see it. Yeah, you can see here, there is a high point on the frame right there near the radius rod plate and this is hitting it yep. making it and if we try to yank it out then the hole ain't gonna match up anymore you want to press my buttons it's, it's happening yeah. bumpers <laughs> <laughs> oh man i guess I lucy know. didn't want bumpers <laughs> yeah maybe lucy's trying to tell you something no bumpers. no bumpers no uh, wedge nothing like that we don't need one save ourselves <laughs> <laughs> we can do the last thing I'm like, where you do anything now? Yeah, I am too. <laughs> Rolls in threes. I'm like, oh, oh man. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> We've been wanting to see the bumpers on it. We had this cool little winch plan we were going to go do, and now I just. And we're back, all my cool cats and kittens. Uh, last time you saw us, I didn't even think this was going to be a video. Because I just thought LMW Fab. Set me a defective bumper or we weren't putting it together right. After a couple days of talking to him, there is a solution. So, the reason it wasn't fitting up right was the uh, wench terminals were smashing into the bumper. I'll show you right now. I can't because I already started working on it. <laughs> this guy was just digging right into this thing. They said take it apart and you can turn it. That is true. You can turn it, but I'm going to tell you right now, don't take this off. So this is why this thing's so hard. You got these uh, magnets right here. There's a spring underneath of them. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, not that complicated. Whatever. All right, so when you take the cap all the way off, these pop all the way out. Now to slide that thing back onto here, you got to have all four of these perfectly into position. Yeah, I see. I can't even do it. How am I supposed to do it? Well, trying to put the cap onto here, man. It's gonna be a doozy. So, I gotta wait for Nick. I need some hands. I need some extra hands. I'm not Squidward. I don't have eight arms. So, I'm gonna wait for him. I do got my clutch cover off though. We are gonna put in the Helix, the Aftermarket Assassins Pro XP Helix in the Turbo S, which just found out yesterday. No more Turbo S's. I have a dying breed. This thing is limited edition now. Cost just went. But I uh, got something super cool to end off the video once we're finished with Lucy and everything. 
I'm going to surprise Jake with his aftermarket assassin stuff on his car. Because tomorrow we are racing the RBOR race. Hour and a half on a six or eight mile track through the woods. It is a crazy endurance race. If you haven't seen it, go check out some of our old footage. Right now Nick is sitting in third in the points. He finished third in the first race. There's going to be three all together throughout the summer. We're on number two right now. So we prepped the RS1 last night. Going to pre-run the track tonight. It's going to be a doozy. Plus Jake's running it. Break it, Jake. I, I want to say he's going to do good, but his history of how things end aren't the greatest. But he's going to be running with some extra power. Right here is his box of goodies. Aftermarket assassin stuff. He's got the uh, clutch kit, exhaust, the tuner. He'll be... He'll be running right. I've already started working on his car a little bit here. I'm getting ready to put the tune on. Uh, popped off his clutch cover because we need to put all the clutch kit stuff on. And I got his exhaust off. All right, I'm gonna work on this Helix while uh, I'm waiting for Nick. So I took off the clutch cover. Now we're gonna zap the secondary off. Yes, the belt's on it. I don't have my clutch tool. I don't know where it went. And it's going to be a while until that gets here. So I'm just going to zip that secondary off. So what's crazy about the Pro XP clutches that are on a 21 Turbo S is there's no snap ring on uh, the secondary and it's just a little 10 millimeter. Very small. That looks bad in there, boys. That is a lot of dust. So secondary is off. It just pops off in two pieces. Uh, yeah, you can see a bunch of dirt in there. Why? Because Zach's being a bad boy and not cleaning out his clutches. Because what you're going to end up ruining here is your rollers. So we'll get debris, dirt, stuff like that, and then they start sticking. And they seem to be all right right now. But I will say, there's a lot of crap on them. All right, I just got done blowing out my clutches, cleaning up the primary, the secondary. Oh, and look who's here now. Oh, 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 oh. I Hi. hate it. <laughs> <laughs> seeing what happened uh, here? Yeah. So seeing the magnet? Magnet, that's yeah. what the lady said don't do. <laughs> no, she gave me half-ass instructions. <laughs> she was just like, there's a spring behind it, so make sure you put a lot of pressure. She wasn't telling me don't take it off. <laughs> the pressure is... There was no pressure. I was sitting there gorilla <laughs> holding it on there. It was, there was no pressure. We just needed like eight arms to hold the magnet down yeah. and line up the screws like to go in. a couple double A batteries in here. Yeah, <laughs> charge up that wench. Yeah, you're good to go, dude. <laughs> but, all right, I have the secondary off of the car and here it is. I didn't get to use my SLP like I was talking about in the beginning because this little cup thing is uh too big it gets in the bolts way so i can't zip the bolts off this thing will work on jake's secondary and primary but not a pro xp one so yeah it covers these bolts so there's no way to take it off mm -hmm. so we just use this big bolt and thread and pinched her down that way yeah so we'll just loose it take these bolts out and then just start unthreading that real mm -hmm. easy Swap out that helix, no problem. Done deal. Easy peasy. You can see how it's compressed down. I just zipped these bad boys off, and now we gotta try relieving the pressure. How's it gonna do it? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm thinking actually what'll be nice is put a wrench on this side, yep. and then we'll be able to twist this by hand. Yeah, you're right. And then it should come all the way out, and the bolt is long enough to where it, by the time I get to the end of the bolt, the spring should have no pressure on it. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. <laughs> Let's make the attempt. <laughs> you want me to hold the bread? Oop, we're already going for it. Nope. I'm going to show how people how easy this is. One man job. <laughs> and then the helix goes blasting through the garage door <laughs> like a rocket. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you can see it. She's separating. Any oh, more? that was way easier than uh, the, the press. Yeah, the yeah. press over there. That's what we usually use. That's well, the see, super redneck way. This is gonna actually be a really, really easy uh, install. What are you doing? That's not food. That's, that's not food. <laughs> Liquid snacks. Liquid <laughs> snacks. <laughs> Your snacks are outside. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared the <laughs> out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
it up a little bit. God damn. It did chip it a little. Oh, that hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. So the spring was longer than the bolt. Uh, Good catch with the dudes though. Uh, I need a minute. This Jags? So it does take two people. Just <laughs> it takes two, and the bolt was not long enough. Yeah, just don't don't do it yourself. No. <laughs> don't listen to us. That's for yeah, hundred percent. Sure. I don't know what. We're gonna show you guys what uh, not to do. Yeah. So you can see. <laughs> so you don't do it yourselves. We're here to break it, so you don't. <laughs> you can tell right here there's a little dip on the secondary. It did. There's a little bit of a nup, and I'm hoping it's not gonna do anything luckily the belt rides up here when it's done so most of your driving is down and in, in here on the sheave maybe for most of you guys not in me I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we ran clutches a lot worse the only bummer part is that it's just it's just brand new and that's yeah. not how we want to break stuff no by dropping it on the floor no if dude, I ever have a clutch problem I'm gonna blame it on that yeah, what you need to do, dude, is you need to get this floored in rubber. <laughs> so, it's not this tough concrete when we drop stuff. If it doesn't work, it would make a cool frisbee. It would be pretty sweet. It would be like a Bob Lazar looking I was going to say, I would put this on my desk and have Bob on it. <laughs> What's crazy is how pitted... It got from the fall. Yeah, luckily, dude, you were Don't quick drop the clutches. <laughs> yeah, luckily you were quick on the action, man. You caught the majority of it with your foot. We should have known. We should have known. Yeah, I did. I actually said we should use two people. You want me to hold the brand? Ooh, we're already going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you then? It's holding the camera. Man. <laughs> Where were you? All right, let's get it cleaned up. Let's get it back on. And then <laughs> let it just... Savor. <laughs> okay, we got the helix in. We, <laughs> we made a little drop and it made a little mark, but we got her buffed out. We got the helix back in. We used the same bolt. What we did was just kind of had uh, put it all together and had somebody push down on the secondary just a little bit, just so it exposed the threads, and then lopped it on. And now Chief has got this super awesome torque wrench right here. Electronic. Electronic. We like to play it by the book. Yeah, special from Amazon. I figure I should get electronic because your boy likes to be lazy. Yeah, he if don't I had to mess with it, I bet you money, I'll just do a couple ugga duggas. Good <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing, while all this was going on, Nick got the wench to work. He got the magnets. I did. And one thing is is uh so if you have to do this, this is what I recommend doing. You loosen up these bolts. Right here at the end, and then what you actually do is hold it together and pull the whole piece off. Yep. You can see where it conjoins, and then you can line it up way easier. Yeah, it's a little hard for me to show it right here just because of the bumper, but you can see kind of like where this rope is, right where the end of the rope and the uh, this little like, I don't even know, it's where all the motor and all that stuff is. That whole thing pops right out. So if you do, the cap does come off, you can, you can just slide that right out and work on it, um, you know, outside of the car. Makes it a lot easier. Amazon, $100 torque wrench. Sweet. Pretty nice. Sweet. So you, you just, you can pop it out. Nice. Then adjust it to whatever you want. All right, I'm liking it. Keep going. Uh, what else can it do? It can uh, torque stuff to the right spec. <laughs> It can cast spells. Yeah. Alicatosis. Zam. <laughs> Where you at, Harry? <laughs> it works just like a regular torque wrench. Yeah, here, I'm going to set the camera down because I'm going to hold the, cl the clutch while you torque it. Let's hold stuff. And we'll go your back. Yeah, let's see. Face. Two people. <laughs> <laughs> Helix is on. All torqued up. 44 foot pounds for these guys. Work. And twerk. It's twerking. twerked on. Twerking. <laughs> Now, I'm going to start slapping my clutch back together while I'm doing that. Nick is going to put the switch and everything in for the wench. And my car will be all set up. The rest will be Nick or Nick's, Jake's. Yep. Here's the stock helix. You can actually see a little bit of wear and tear on the top of here. Nothing too crazy, but it is. I mean, there's only like six, 700 miles on the car. Uh... The aftermarket Assassin's Helix. So, 
Nate from Classic Motorsports was sitting here telling us about it, explaining what the big difference is, and apparently it's how these grooves are. The pitches are different in here. So engagement should be better, smoother. We'll see. Check it out. All wired up. Oh, oh. Hit it. Oh, hit the hit the button. Hit it. What? Boom, boom, yeah. Is yep. it spooling? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's because it's not it's engaged. Unlocked. Yeah. Jesus, first time luncheon. <laughs> Gotta learn something. Damn, bro, I wanted to surprise you, but I, I, could, I couldn't get it in time. Oh. <laughs> I wanted you to show up and it all be done. That's all right, dude. Any progress is awesome. Yeah. Thanks, dude. I tried. I tried. And we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. When should, you think you can hold down 6,000 pounds? Oh, yeah. Watch this. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> hold it back, dude. <laughs> the car's coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wench is basically hooked up. We're gonna clean up underneath here. I'm gonna tighten down the secondary. We gotta finish this dude's stuff so we can get ready. Alright, get to work. All right, get so to work. Get out of here! <laughs> Alright, boys and girls. Wench, bumper, everything is fully mounted. I gotta clean up some electrical stuff up here, but just never mind that. All right, so my terminals aren't hitting anymore, which, by the way, if you're wondering, this is just gouged to hell from it digging in there. I hope this helps somebody if they're having the same issue. Uh, but anyways, yep, wench is hooked up. Check this guy's out. Here's the wireless button. Let's get this puppy in there. And there she is. But awesome, man. She's hooked up. Oh, man, that's that's gonna be handy. Even if it's not for me. My secondary's on, Helix is in there. Whoop, whoop, all cleaned up. I'm gonna put the clutch cover on, put this thing all together, and then help Jake finish up his car. So here's something I'm gonna show you guys. Since this SLP did not work for mine, but I'll show you how it works for Jake's or most uh, razor clutches. So, wham, bam, she presses down right there, and then you can just put pressure down, and somebody can zip them off. Very handy tool to have, I recommend it. And in the first part of this video, this bumper don't work at all. It's not because we don't know what we're doing, this one straight up just ain't meant for my car. So, when you do get the aftermarket assassin stuff, uh, Jake ordered a brand new secondary. And with AA, what they do is they actually have roller pucks for it instead of the squares, which are a lot better set up. Because those squares can bind up and then your secondary sticking and everything. Hmm, man, that's a shiny pipe hooked up to a not shiny pipe. <laughs> but you're about to hear a whole different world. Oh, you got the quiet core in it too. Yeah. Are you gonna take it out or leave it in? I don't know. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of both. See what I like. But Jake has basically got his exhaust on, just has to throw that O2 sensor on. Do you get your clutches all put together, basically? Put together, ready to be put on. Awesome. So we'll run the tune while it's scanning the tune. We'll throw the clutches on by the time it's done with the tune. Yes. Wham, bam. So the tune is... <laughs> the tune he's going to be running is a stage three. His car stock is about 120. I think with this whole clutch setup and the tune, it'll probably be about 120, 125. It's an NA car, so you can't get huge numbers out of it. Right. But it is gonna be a big difference, and his uh, fan will kick on at like 190 or 185 now, so temperatures will stay cooler, car will just, it will be improved. Jake needs it's pretty that. pretty exciting. <laughs> why not have a better day to try it out than my first race? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. See what I can break. All right, guys. We're going to finish up everything here, and then we'll we'll, we'll see how happy Jake home. is. Yeah. Ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Lucy is all finished up. It is dark now. That's how long it's been. <laughs> it's go time. Stage, it's. I didn't realize it. It's actually stage two. Okay. I just thought it was a stage three. I didn't. That's what it says on the tuner. Okay. But here she goes. I, start her up, dude. Right. <laughs> well, it sounds so much better, dude. Look at Jack's ready to go. Yeah, your dog is ready, dude. He loves razors. Does anybody else dog like razors? He Razor dog, man. That's the dirt dog. Look at him. He's ready to drive. 
It sounds like a new car. <laughs> Didn't sound very cool before. It has a quiet core in it right now, so yeah. it's way tamed down. I like that. I'm good with it. Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's got a bright out. <laughs> but Jake's car, all tuned up. New primary, new secondary from Aftermarket Assassin. So Jake, for this setup right now, he's running a, what is the weight setup you're running? 442. 442? Yep. Oh yeah, I want to go take a rip. Yeah, yeah. it's Mike take some tuning and we're last second or anything, so here we are. Yep, tomorrow, what time is it right now? Yeah. What time is it? It is 10.27. Jesus. Right on time. 10.27, <laughs> we have a race in the morning, Jake's first race ever. All new power, all new setup. Nick hopefully is pre-running the heck out of it, figuring out this track for us. Uh, last minute. Last minute UTV. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's go rip this thing. It sounds so much better, dude. <laughs> What's it called? The the quiet core. Yeah, that's got the quiet core in it too. Yeah, I I mean it's really loud. It would be really loud without yeah. the quiet core. I think I'm gonna leave the quiet core in. I would, dude. I like it on mine. Yeah. But um, that wraps it up, dude. Yeah. Tomorrow, success. big race. We still I'm have tons are. of things to do, and it's probably freaking one in the morning. Gotta I get up it's... early. Gotta qualify. <laughs> that's my main focus. Yep. I think start is gonna be the biggest. So. Jake's in, in for a whole new thing. This is our never third it. or fourth time doing it, so we're basically veterans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but stay tuned, guys, because next episode we'll be doing the RBOR race, which is an hour and a half on a six to eight mile track at Twisted Trails Off Road Park in Coatmouth, Michigan. Last time there was nearly 40 cars. So let's see what happens this time. I'm super jacked. Nick's jacked. RS1 is running right. Let's see if Jake cannot break it and last through the race. So appreciate all of you guys for watching. Stay tuned because there's so much good stuff coming. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. New to the channel, you like our content, we are here twice a week. Hit that subscribe button. I can't say enough, guys. I appreciate all the support. And uh, if you want some dirt merch, link in the description. Also, there's a Patreon account. So... We would really appreciate it if you want to support us us in this crazy journey that we're trying to do here. And uh, yeah, that wraps up, guys. See you in the next one.